Sí. <risa> Yep, just let out a lot of line because you don't have a weight on there and just nice and slow. I got an egg stinker. You want me to rig it on? Uh, uh, rig it. Way up on there and blow more. Swing it over here. What is it? What's on me? Nah, man. Uh huh. So I gotta hold them in the water while I retie this. Yeah, but just don't go too fast. Yep, we got it. Straight to that point. Once you get over there, head offshore the, the rocks that are out of the water, and uh, then you can slow down and just let them dance down there naturally. Good luck, buddy. Let out, you gotta let out a lot of line. Right now he's helicoptering, you're, you're gonna kill him that way. A lot of line, so he's got some play and not too fast. Gonna have to cruise over there slow, but you can get hit on the way. On the peak. We're on the peak. Yeah, and out there at the peak. Just let out a decent amount of line, and just gonna have to cruise not too too fast. Does anybody else not have a live bait yet? Uh, oh, gallo, gallito, rooster, <laughs> jumping out of the water. So the clients are all heading over here with the live baits we gave them. And I came over here to throw this little jig at these rocks. And I told them I've caught small roosters here before this time of year doing this. And sure enough, I got one on first five minutes. Si, si puedes grabarlo de su cola. Oh, oh. ¿Qué me dije, amigo? Aquí en la costa en enero, sí hay. Oh, yeah. Very, this is, this is a small guy, but these fish are so strong. One of the hardest hunting fish I've ever caught pound for pound. Qué chiquito, pero son fuertes. No, 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 no. Mira, qué linda. Ay, 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 cuidado. Grabar su cola, no la línea. Está corriendo mucho. ¿no? Okay. Ahí está. Gracias, amigo. Look at that, guys. Just a little rooster, but came over here to catch exactly this, and sure enough, did not take long. It's on just a little micro jig that I picked up from Tackle Direct. Beautiful little rooster, tons of fun. Such strong fish, especially on this light tackle. Oh man, I love these fish. And we'll send him on his way. See. Hey, see ya. Está moribundo, cansadito. Sí. Qué linda. Está bien. Sí, creo. And there she goes, nice and slow. Okay. Bueno, ¿qué? Cinco minutos. Alright guys, so uh, I just threw the XPS jig about six times and just caught a little rooster fish over here on these rocks. So I'd stick with those moonfish, but they're around. The bigger ones will eat those moonfish. But uh, throwing the day, if at any point you don't have a bait, throwing the XPS jig around the rocks, 
letting it sink down a little bit and then uh, reeling it back pretty fast. It's a great way to get gallitos, get the smaller roosters this time of year. Just release one. Nice, Mark here, a little Sierra mackerel. If you catch one of those later when you don't have bait, that's good bait too. But they're delicious, that's sashimi. I got caught on my bonefish. And there's something big in my bonefish, and the little peas, it probably got the little peas, because I go get a big run. Oh. Big run. Yeah. Weird. So you need another moonfish? Yeah, I need another moonfish. All right, they've got them out there. But we'll take that guy from you. Tell him in Spanish what happened. No, we have a jack, a live jack. How big is it? Bigger bait. I mean, it's a good sized bait. Yeah. You want to do that? And then that thing, you can go fast. You can just get out there to the point. Yeah, they're, they're heavy duty. Yeah. They're rough. Yeah, they're super tough. Uh, just back off that drag. Yeah. What kind of macro is that? Sierra. They look just like a Spanish, but they taste way better. All right, brother. Good to go. That guy, you can go fast. So let some line out and I'd get over there to that point. You can catch a sailfish, giant rooster, cubera, anything could hit that. Good luck, buddy. Over the place, if it comes at you, don't let it slack. Keep it real fast. Oh, it's a rooster. There you go. Nice, bro. Take your time, be ready. Hey, rod tip to the front. This is how you get flipped. Rod tip to the front. You're doing good. Take your time. Take your time. They're strong fish. So once it gets comes up and gets again near the boat, it'll probably make another run. So just hang on, stay focused. Don't let it slack. Only way you can lose them now. Great job, man. Ilya here. Moonfish just got eaten. We handed out moonfish to every client. And he's hooked up to a rooster fish. Already saw it, but it ain't in yet. It ain't over yet. Keep that line tight like that. Yeah, don't let that slack. Real, real. Just real. You don't need to pop up and do the down thing now. Just real, real. Because you're you're dropping the rod before you reel and you're slacking it every time. Don't do it. Just just real, real, real. And while he's pulling like that, just let him go and be ready to reel when he slacks. Yeah, buddy. Still ripping drag. Woo! Just stay focused. It ain't in yet. Real, real, real fast when it does that. Nice. Real, real, real. Don't slack it, killer. You got one foot forward. Yep, perfect. Careful, it's trying to get in your drive. That's it to the front. Yep, perfect, dude. Perfectly done. All right, so when you're at the swivel, so stop reeling. Now you can try to grab it as gill plate, or do you want me to come help land it? Be ready. He could try to take off again, grabbing his gill plate, and hold on tight. Yeah, buddy! There it is. Just be really careful with the red part of his gills. Be careful. You may freak out again. There it is, dude. Yeah! Congrats, man. It's okay. First rooster fish. You want to pull your buff down? We'll get your face in it. Well, if you're going to do that, hold on to him real tight. All right, hold on to him real tight. Just don't grab the red part of his gills. You're doing great. Or you can just grab in his mouth if you want. He won't hurt you. Just right nice and tight. Yeah, see? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're strong. There it is! Sick, bro. Congrats. Not yet, not yet. All right, chuck it in, man. Shoo! Oh, oh, we may have to revive her. That's okay. That happens a lot. That's okay. Yeah, she'll be fine. We're going to grab her and revive her for you, bud. We'll do it to make sure she's good. Congrats, brother. Charles got more moonfish. Well, that's simple, Jaro Rojo. First rooster fish of the trip, landed by Ilya on the moonfish. We'll get Charles to come back over and give you another one when he's ready, man. Do it again. Sick. Congrats. If, unless you're adamant on doing it, I'd rather do it. Just make sure we, we get her down good. Yeah. 
Vamos depois. Depois, creio. Cuidado com o motor. O motor, cuidado. Seguro. I think she just went. He tried to grab her and she took off. Good. Yeah, I think she's good, bud. Woo. We're gonna double check, but. Bucket list just got a little shorter, buddy. Nice work. Swam off strong, and that's the second rooster today caught. I got one too, so I mean, they're here, you guys. Just keep the faith with these moonfish. Ilias had that one out for a while, you know, and just now got hit, so it could happen in any second. Go ahead and let these fish eat when they get it. Good 12, 15 seconds. If the roosters are around, you know, let's do 15 seconds. Make sure we get these guys buttoned. And if you want to double time, you can, but if it were me, if the roosters are chewing right now, if one just ate, more will, are gonna eat right now. And if you got 100 yards of line or something else out, when you get that run, you gotta really execute perfectly to handle both two things at once. So if it was me right now, when I got one rooster biting, I would just focus on that moonfish, be ready, stay in a good area, nice and slow, let it get down there. And uh, yeah, let's get some more. Okay, okay, I wanna see. Ahora sí estamos pescando. Yes, sir. Ilya, you want another? We're going right there. Perfect. Yeah, he's ready. Well done, bro. Great job on the fight. Killed it. That's good size. Oh, oh, oh. Creo que no. Mira. Got Brandon here. He's from Denver. He lives in Columbia. He's hooked up on the live bait. Got something pretty good. I thought maybe it was the bottom at first, but it's not. There he goes. Woo -wee. It kind of took it a minute to wake up. That's a big fish. I got a feeling that's a Gubera, man. Don't let it slack. Real, real, real. When it slacks, you reel. Real, 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 real. When it's pulling, you let it go. As soon as it stops, you got to reel fast. Only way you'll lose it now is it's slacking. He's coming up. You got it. You didn't come all this way to bitch out in your moment, man. Hang out. Nice. That's going to be a good fish. I don't think it knew it was hooked at first. It does now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You got it. Real, 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 real. Watch that rope up front. Doing great. When it gets close, you need to have one foot forward. What color? Rooster. Rooster? Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Get ready. He might take off again. You want to grab it at skill plate? Oh, careful. Or do you want me to help grab it? Yeah? We're not going to Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hang tight. Yep, maybe do, he may do that again when we come back up, so. Just be patient, keep it tight. Vamos, voy a grabarlo. Voy a grabarlo. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, careful, yep, you're good. Real, real, real. Yeah, see, see, see. Okay, don't reel that that weight up too much. Uh, it might man with it. Yo quiero grabarlo. Yo yo yo. There it is, bro. Look at that fish. Uh, that's a giant monster, bro. Let's get this all out of the way real quick and get this guy in your lap, man. Great fish. Let's move that behind you. Okay, now I'm gonna hand them to you. Yep. You're gonna grab, not the yep. red, but right yep, in yep, here, yep, okay? Right yep. Yep, got him nice and tight. He's gonna yep. freak out again, promise that. Yep. Got him? Yep. Hang on, we'll get you some video and, and photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Brandon here from Denver, he lives in Columbia. Giant rooster on his lap. How was that fight? <laughs> I bring up the bond. <laughs> I nice work. Back in the water. Yeah. All right, hold on. We're gonna do a. Okay. We're okay. gonna do a photo. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> you should try to hold over your head. I don't know. You got it. You got it. No, no. 
<laughs> Sick, bro. Dale, amigo, yeah. yeah. Gonna release this fish. Set him down in there. You can grab his tail if you want and set him down in there. Head first. Yeah, just drop him then. Just drop him. Don't go in with him. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Great work, man. What a beautiful fish. Look at that green. Beautiful. I'm gonna push it back. Look at that. She's kicking, man. Shove her down hard. Just shove her down straight down. Look at that. Swam right off. Beautiful release. Congrats, bro. That was big boy. It's the biggest one so far. Nice job. Nice job, Brandon. Giant rooster jumbo. Big papagayo for Brandon here. Incredible job, man. Nice fish. That was awesome. Sick fish. Swam very strong. This yellow kayak here, I think I see it. El Amarillo. Great. Pero tiene líneas. There you go, who's that? Mike here with a fish on the moon fish on the live bait. Just keep it tight, don't let it slack. Reel a little faster when it slacks. Yeah, when it pulls, let it go. Then reel, 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 reel. So you're slacking it there at the top. When it pulls, you let it go. When it stops, start slacking. You gotta reel real fast. Reel, reel, reel. There you go. Oh, oh. I see color. That looks like a rooster, buddy. Oh, watch your pedals. One foot forward. Pull it out. Okay. Is it some rooster? No, no. Big jack, dude. Huge jack. Wow, bro. You can grab by the tail if you want. It's nice and easy. There you go. There you go. Dude, that's a giant, bro. Giant jack for Mike here. Nice, man. Yeah, there you go, bud. All right, man. Let's Jack go. Jack of all. Well, we got to get the hook out of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great job. Okay. You can toss him back in. Head first. Yeah, there he goes. All right. Nice, go. man. It's a big fish from a kayak, dude. Nice. Is it coming up? Looks like it is, yeah? Yeah. We've got Ernie here from New Jersey. With a Kubera snapper at the surface. Yeah, buddy. There it is. All right, don't reel anymore. You want help landing it or you want to get it? You want me to land it? Oh, oh man. Sick fish. Let's go, go, baby. Let's go. There it is, man. Let's go. Stun. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Good work, man. One of the hardest fish to land. You can set that there. Red part. Watch those teeth. See that? Look at that. <laughs> Dude, let's yeah, bro. Let's so sick. Look at this. Ernie from Jersey with a nice Kubera snapper uh -huh. on the moonfish. This guy's not a newbie fisherman, but he is newer to kayak fishing. At least this kind of kayak fishing. Great work, bro. Dude, as soon as you start digging straight down, you're like, uh-oh, this is something else. Let's see. Didn't catch her too deep, so she should be able to go. Yep. There she goes. Right down, man. Congrats, bro. So Bugalish has got a little shorter. That's way harder than the rooster, so you got him. Kubera! Yee That's the hard one. We'll get you a rooster now. I'm confident of that. You got another bait? Yeah. He's got another bait whenever you're ready. Take your time. Take a breather if you want. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. Mira, gallo, gallo, mira. No, no. We just had a rooster chasing my jig on the surface, going crazy. Ah, he said pique, but ah, loco. Wow, his head is crow. It's his comb out of the water. 
chasing my jig and just wouldn't commit to it. That means I wasn't going fast enough. Oh, that was cool to watch though. Right behind it with the rooster comb out of the water. Ah, que loco era. En jueves. Tengo video. Salió bien. Sí. Ajá. Sí. Primero tira. Creo que los clientes de Bruno estaban como, eh, amigo, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> Creo que juré. <laughs> Fish on a little tick. Sí, creo que Creo que juré. Sí, veo mismo. Está muy cansado. Bien <laughs> fácil. Todavía tiene hambre. <laughs> No, se viene arriba. Oh, oh, Paco Amarillo. Paco Amarillo, de ocasión. Wow. Un garfe. Gafe, gafe, tenemos. Sí. Wow, buenísimo. Déjame, déjame, yo lo agarro. Allá no se va a ir. Yeah, da. Buenísimo. Look at that, guys. Nice yellow snapper. Just literally made one drop, random drop, out here on the little micro jig. These guys are delicious to eat, and that's a pretty good one. This is uh, uh, about the third biggest species of snapper we catch out here. It's really windy. I just dropped that thing one time out here in the middle of nowhere. Whoo wee! Got a little swell. That's a great fish. That's gonna be dinner. guys so Diego's gonna show us how to prepare this snapper for basically being fried whole first thing we're gonna leave the skin on so you got to scale it get these scales off got a little descaling tool but you can even use the back of a spoon back of a knife so be careful don't cut yourself just going against the grain here and getting all these scales off and that way we can eat the skin once we fry this guy up and the skin's gonna be delicious and even the fins will be delicious when you fry these guys up, they're like little crispy, fishy potato chips. Diego lives here full time. He helps us out with all kinds of stuff. He's our electrician. He helps us go fishing, helps us launch and land the clients every single day. It's one of the hardest working guys I've ever known. Such a good guy. We all love Diego. Now he's helping us prepare this guy. And gosh, these little snapper are so good. Fried whole. Now he's going to cut out the gills. And he's also got to gut the fish. Now we're going to score this guy so it cooks nice and evenly. Oh, these are going to be so good. And that's what you're looking for, guys. Whole fried snapper. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. But we're going to go ahead and fry this guy up whole. So you saw how we prepared it with Diego, and this is so good. For any snapper, basically any like pan-sized fish, this is a money recipe. It's gonna be so good. Diego's gonna do it, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through it in English because Diego doesn't speak in English, but phenomenal guy. He's gonna show us how we're gonna do this. Okay, primero que. Primero le agregamos lo que es la sal. Sal. Salt first. We got this guy that we scored. Sal al gusto nomás. He's gonna put salt all around this guy and in these little ribs that we scored and we're gonna do some limon which here this is kind of a 
blend between lemon and an orange. But you could just use lime or lemon, whatever you got. Doesn't really matter. So add some citrus to it. Then we're gonna hit it with some pepper. You get this place. So now flour is what's gonna make this guy crispy. Diego's gonna put some flour down on this pan. Delicate touch Diego has. It is an artist, no? <laughs> All right, whole fish going down in the flour. You want to get it nice and coated, not crazy. You don't need an inch layer or anything. You vas a poner adentro también? A little bit inside here as well. I'll tell you what, guys, you'll see here in a minute, but the fins are my favorite part. Okay, moment of truth. You want the oil nice and hot? Or is it sufficient to caliente, gracias? Uh huh. Nice sizzle. Alright, first flip of this guy. Now we're gonna have to move it around some to get this back fin cooked up right. Oh gosh, it smells so good. You know, I always talk to the Panamanians here about how, like in the United States, people fillet their fish. Period. They throw away the guts, the head all that stuff and uh, they always look at me like I'm crazy like are you being serious are you messing with me right now because in most countries most countries besides the United States filleting fish is not the go-to approach is not the norm we waste so much fish just in the parts of the fish that we don't cook that are so delicious and uh, doing these fish whole this is the way to go with any kind of snapper Really any fish that you can fit in a pan, it's so much better. It's so much flavorful when you keep those bones on there. The skin after you scale it is so delicious. This is going to be a treat, you guys. Write this down. It's so easy to do. It's less work at the filet table. This is going to be good. And the best part about cooking here at Los Buzos, besides the fact that it's literally as fresh as it can possibly be, is this view that we're cooking to. We're here in paradise, you guys. Cannot beat it. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, see it's not. So he's flipping this bad boy. We're gonna get that fin in there. That tail fin. Uh-huh, see. Flip it again. Now that tail's gonna get nice and crispy. And it's done, you guys. Looking phenomenal, smelling even better. Look at that. Simple yet delicious. Get that, amigo. Alright, guys, whole fried spotted roast snapper. This would do well with any snapper. It doesn't matter. I'm going to start off with the fin. I'm telling you guys, I already know this is about my favorite part of the whole fish. It's like this crispy, salty, crunchy, fishy potato chip, like a lay. So good, you guys. If you're throwing away the fins in your fish, you're doing it wrong, and I already know you are. So, so good. Now, let's try a bit of this meat. You notice because we scored it, it comes off in these perfect. Oh, it's hot, but it's gonna be good. Perfect little sheets. And again, you gotta scale the fish if you're gonna do this. Cause we're eating the skin here, but the skin's got so much flavor oils it keeps it nice and moist so do the bones but you got to scale your fish first but if you do that is some of the best fish i've ever had so simple does not need much see how it comes off in these little sweet little sections here you can use a fork if you're not a savage but I'm telling you guys whole fried fish you can do this with anything as long as you scale it. Bluegill, walleye, especially stuff that's too small that it's a lot of work to fillet. Leave it whole, score it, scale it. It's so good. You gotta try that to cut it. It's hot. It's hot, but it's worth it. Mm. No. Tell that's me that's good. not good. That's super good. 
It's like so hot, but it's so good. You just shovel it in anyways. You guys, I cannot begin to tell you how good. Ow, it's hot. I cannot begin to tell you how good this whole fried snapper is. Like, I, I can't stop shoveling it in my face. Fried snapper when you fillet it is pretty darn good. But this right here, whole nother level. You got the, the pectoral fin here. Mm. The fins are good. The meat is good. The skin is good. You guys, you want to not waste as much of your fish. This is the way to cook it. Goodness gracious. It's seriously like delectable. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this catch and cook. I hope you learned a little something about cooking fish whole. I, I, I cannot recommend this enough. It is so phenomenal. But what an, crazy, an amazing day on the water with these clients. What an incredible meal for us on our day off now that the clients left. Just, we're just out here living the dream, you guys, without a doubt. But for now, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications if you feel like it, whatever. I, I, you know, I'd love to have you back here every week. We got a lot more Field Trips Panama coming up next. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much. I love you guys. But for now, adios. Ciao. Amigo, get ego. Chuuuuy. Que tal, Increíble.